Hey guys, back with another video on my Viterra Ascender. Now when this truck came out, I did some running with it, had a good time. Also took that down to Crawlapalooza last October and really beat on it down there on those crazy Disney rocks. Now, during that outing, I actually ended up breaking a rear drive shaft and I just kind of let it sit on the shelf until now. While watching the King of the Hammers shootout last night, I decided to grab this thing down off the shelf and start trying to do a little bit of tinkering with it. While I do like the Chevy body and all, it's not going to stay. It is gonna get changed out and I'm gonna start along a path of a custom project with it because I do plan to turn this truck into my class one Sorka competition crawling rig. Now, if you're not familiar with Sorka or what class one means or any of that stuff, I'll give you a quick little rundown on it. Sorka is the organization that basically governs scale competitions. Now, the scale type of competitions they do is mainly comp crawling style, which is driving through sets of cones with gates called. So you drive through those through a 10 gate course or a 12 gate, you know, whatever the number may be, and you're scored accordingly. Comp crawling is a lot of fun and I've had a lot of fun doing it in the past. That's really what got me going in crawling so much is all I used to really do was comp crawling. The scale stuff has definitely taken over the last several years and been where my focus has been mainly, but I still do get that comp crawling itch quite often. So Sorka this year is gonna be what I get into. Now they have classes, class one, class two, and class three. Basically it goes from the most stock style to the most outrageous style. Class one being the closest to a stock style vehicle. Now there's a whole bunch of guidelines and things like that that you're supposed to go by. And I will be following those rules because I will be entering official competitions that Sorka puts on. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Scale Nationals are being held in Morrison, Colorado this year. And I believe that is the first event for the year that I need to have all of my rigs ready to go by. And that date is quickly approaching. So I really need to get on the ball and start getting some of these rigs knocked out. Now to get into why I chose the Viterra for my class one truck. Now again, the class one means that it's the closest to stock. It also means the smallest tire class. Right now I've got the RC4 wheel drive gladiators and they're actually too tall for that class. So I will have to get a shorter tire. Now, when you go to a shorter tire, it means less clearances. But the one major advantage that the Terra has is these scale style axles have a lot more clearance at the diff than an axial SCX-10 does when you're really getting into it and things like that, I think that the extra clearance there on a class one is going to be very helpful. So that's why I chose this truck for a class one. Now, as far as what it's actually going to turn into, what I've got here is the remains of a Tamaya Unimog body. And that is what this truck is gonna get transformed into. The nice thing about a Unimog is that there's no set wheelbase to the body, and Sorka rules do get a little bit picky when you start talking about wheelbase in your body. They want to make sure that your wheelbase is within an inch of the actual wheelbase of the body to make sure it all looks like it fits fairly well. But if I use the cab of this, I can put the rear anywhere I like to make sure that I get all of the performance that I'm looking for. And from there, I'll start getting into the rest of the details about how to make it look scale. I will be going with a flatbed style rear end. It'll have some very simple bars in the back that have a kind of like a headache rack going down. It'll tie in to some very simple tube structure, a little bit of fender in the rear. Other than that, going to try and just clean it up as much as I can, try and camouflage all of my wires and electronics, all that kind of stuff, and get rolling from there. The rest of the details will just kind of have to come as I get rolling. Like I said, these dates are coming up pretty quickly and uh, I need to get some work done. I've got some projects in the shop that need to get taken care of, and uh, this one is still gotta get done in there somehow. So, that's what we're gonna plan on this thing. This thing's already got a Holmes Hobbies waterproof Torque Master ESC and a 13 turn Crawl Master motor, a solid little electronic setup with a Futaba S9157 servo. The entire system already waterproof, other than my receiver, which is sitting in that rear box. That box is not waterproof out of, from the factory though, so I will have to take a little bit of precautions there. But that's where this project's gonna go. Look for some progress on this thing to start happening sometime soon because I do have dates that I've gotta hit because I've gotta have rigs ready to go. 
If you need more info or anything on the Rocky Mountain Scale Nationals that's going to be happening in Morrison, Colorado, let me know or I'll uh, post the link to the thread on RC Crawler in the description of this video. But with that, that's it for this one and uh, I've got plenty of work to get done so we'll see you guys on the next one.